Among the Mexican cartels, one family is feared above all others. Ruthless and cruel, they rule their territory with an iron fist. When Saul Goodman's greed puts him on a collision course with the Salamancas, there's bound to be trouble. One day, it arrives in a smiling, handsome package. Now, before we get started, I want to go ahead and get this out the way, because um, I got to make sure I heard what I heard. He talked real fast, so I got to make sure I, I heard what I heard. So I got to ask him again. Howard, how did it sound when that ball hit your car again? Bang, bang, bang. Now, now Howard, 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 are you... Are you positively, are you absolutely sure? Uh, allow me to rephrase. Uh, allow me to rephrase. Bang, bang, bang. What's up, YouTube? That goddamn Jimmy threw a goddamn bowling ball through Howard's car. And he missed the first time. Then he hit it. Then he, it was like three balls. I, I thought he got a television, too. A little small TV set. But uh this shit is crazy. I guess he's still pissed about Howard and Chuck blackballing him when he was in the mailroom, when he was trying to, you know, be part of the firm. So I guess he's still pissed. You know, Howard offered him the job. Then he go buys a bowling ball and throw it through his fucking window. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting on the goddamn TV set. Shit's crazy. And Mike is going through some type of trauma. And he is just, like, giving up, man. He's yelling at his granddaughter, walking past a bunch of fucking fuckboys. And he's picking a fight with them. He fucked one of them up. But then they ganged him and beat his fucking ass. I mean, put fucking knots on his fucking head. Like, hell! I mean... He looking like the fucking elephant man. Then Mike woke the fuck up in some type of, uh, uh, 
I don't know what you call it, a fucking uh, compound, like uh, like he in Mexico in the border or somewhere across the border. I don't know what the fuck he at, but uh, uh, somehow he got there. I thought he was dreaming, but anyway, y'all, we're gonna check this shit out, see what's gonna go down with Mike. I want to know how he got there, who put him there. You know what I'm saying? I know the fuck boys didn't. Them motherfuckers look like they broke as fuck. So, look like they homeless they goddamn self. Anyway, let's get to it. Better Call Saul, episode five, season five. Look, y'all. Five more to go. Season six. Bang, bang, bang. Shut up, Howard. Where is this place? Where am I? No hablo inglés. Por favor, siéntese. Phone? No. Solo llamadas locales. Por favor, tenga cuidado. No debería estarse moviendo. El doctor vendrá pronto. Who brought me here? Did Fring do this? Gustavo Fring. Siéntese. Le sirvo un vaso de agua. Yo, Mike. You kind of got it made, cuz. Cooking? Can't understand what she's saying? Mike, you gonna walk back to Albuquerque? I don't know, but why is I'm thinking about Toto and the Tin Man and the Cowardly Lion? Why? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Damn, I need one of them, man. The way gas is now? I need one of them motherfuckers right now. Look what you've done to all my fine work. What am I doing here? It was freeing. It was he Gus. Was meant to be recovering. It was Gus. What's he want with me? He's asked me to keep you alive. Will you allow this? I love when Mike be grunting shit. <laughs> So how in the fuck did Gus know Mike was getting his ass kicked by those hootlums? <sighs> Excuse me. That's a stupid fucking question. How do Gus know, Mr. Williams? How long you been watching this shit now? Gus has eyes everywhere. He has spotted sense. He knows every fucking thing, Mr. Williams. Where the fuck you been? You been watching Breaking Bad. You don't see how the fuck Gus move and operate. He knows everything. I'm having an out-of-body experience right now. Back to the show. Bang, 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 bang. Shut the fuck up. Gus know everything. You cannot lie. Gus know everything. Okay, listen up. If Actor doesn't leave on his own by quarter after, the sheriff's gonna evict. Once that's done, utilities will drop and cut their lines while we take down the north fence. Uh, anything inside the place gets loaded up and sent to storage. I'm so good, man. A 
attorney at law. Glad to meet you. A better question might be, where are we? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know what? It's coming up on the hour, so word to the wise. If you let everyone go right now, you might save half a day's salary and fringes. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Deputies! Great! Perfect timing. What's going on? He's a lawyer. Says there's a hitch. I'm Everett Acker's attorney. I'm just dotting the I's and due diligence. Well, I'm sorry, sir. The eviction order signed by a judge. I'm sure it is. Uh, can I have a peek at that? It's all correct, sir. Uh -huh. So since you represent Mr. Acker, can you make sure he cooperates with the eviction? Can you, can you make out the address on that? 1130 to Royal Vista. Is there a problem? Well, I mean, is that where we are? There were house numbers on that mailbox, plain as day, 1130. I don't see any. Do you, deputy? No, I don't. Well, somebody mess with them. This is so, a Royal Vista. So. This is 1240 Royal Vista. <laughs> it's always been 1240 Royal Vista. <laughs> 1240? 1240. My client says it's 1240. I got a plat map that says we can straighten this out right now. Well, all due respect to whoever drew that map, but Mr. Acker's been living here for 30 years. I think he knows his own address. Sir, you got something with an address on it? Hey, goddamn saw. Twelve forty, Royal Vista. It's eleven thirty. Anybody can print out something like that. You got an order signed by a judge. You know, we could get a surveyor up here this afternoon. He'll clear everything up. That'd lose us a full day. Listen, officer. Before you go forcing an elderly veteran from his home and take everything he's got, demolish a half century of hard work. Wouldn't you like to know you got the right place? Come on, all we're talking about are some missing house numbers. I have to make a call. Oh, goddamn! That fucking saw. The lawyer comes in, the crazy comes out. We had it straightened out in a matter of hours. It was a gimmick, and not a particularly effective one. It's costing us a day. I call that plenty effective. There's more? Unfortunately, there is another complication. The lawyer Acker hired, it's Jimmy. Jimmy. You're Jimmy? Okay, so what now? In fairness to you, I'll withdraw from everything having to do with the Tucum Carry project. Steph will step in for me. She and Paige can see it through. Kim's brought us this far. I think Steph will do a fine job for us. Of course, this is just Tucum Carry we're talking about. I'll continue to handle everything else as usual. I smell a rat. Acker hiring Jimmy, that's no coincidence. And I heard about the talking to you gave that guy. Sounds like you tore him a new one. I, I wouldn't say that I... Here's what I think. This fellow saw you for the killer you are. And he wouldn't <laughs> hire Jimmy specifically to take you away from us. I, I think what Kim's trying to say is that going home to the attorney on the other side of this matter could get awkward for her. Is that right, Kim? This gonna be tough on you at home? It's not the personal side that concerns me. I just wouldn't want there to be any question of conflict of interest. Well, I'm not worried about that. If you're willing to stick with it, I say why well, change horses midstream. And if I want to get back to where I belong, you're welcome to leave. You would go back to the road where I found you. Five kilometers from here, there's a gate that leads to the main road. Twelve kilometers up the highway, there's a small town. Bigger than this place, but small. There is a bus stop. Once you're on that bus, you're perhaps a day from El Paso. However, as you are now, you would not survive the journey. My advice is to rest. Enjoy some of Senora Cotazar's excellent cooking and take in some clean air. Yeah, Mike, you need a vacation, cuz. Relax. 
So you're just a zone called Quack. I am the Quack who saved your life. This is for infection. Two every four hours for the next week. This is for the pain. Take it when you need it. I can uh, get a message to your family. They're fine. That damn little man going down that was coming out your head. Mike, don't you think about it. We don't start this. Don't you get on no goddamn scooters. It's a whole village, kids and everything. Oh. She remind him of his granddaughter. Go on there and take you a nap, man. Watch Saffron and Son or something. What the hell? Oh, shit. Fucking tea bags. Peter Vince. Y'all gotta be that detailed. Y'all gotta be that detailed. Tea bags. Hello, Howard. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm uh... a bit busy, uh, to be honest, but uh, what's up? Just thinking about you. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. Mm, glad to hear it. So, <sighs> what's up? Bowling ball. Just touching base to see if you've had any thoughts on what we talked about. What we talked about. Oh, the job. Oh, oh yeah. No, I mean, hey, I've been thinking of nothing else, really. Glad to hear it. Any conclusions? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm mulling it over, you know, reflecting. I'm trying to give it the consideration that it deserves. Fair enough. I'm ready to discuss the details when you are. Sounds good. And Jim. <laughs> right, so where were you? Uh, we were at his country club. Oh! Cutting it close to tea time. Pressure. That's excellent. He had to move his game, actually. <laughs> I love it! Right, now what? Uh, you're sitting, you were standing, I mean... Hmm? Paint a picture, set the scene. I'm not gonna imitate him. Yes, come on, give me a nibble. I mean, the, he's a good old boy, right? So do he talk he's like... He's a good this? old boy! Uh, no, no. Ding, <laughs> dang, do. It's, uh... I'm going to catch them it's new Mark. boys. Um, <laughs> lawyer comes in, crazy comes out. <laughs> I need that call center real bad. Of course, Kevin. Wait, are you being me? Yes, this is you. Yes, go on, go on. I don't like waiting one bit. Never have, never will. Bottom line, breaking ground. More statues. Kim, you get him now. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Kevin? Yes, Kim? Would you care to take a shower with me? Well, shoot. I believe I would. <laughs> I ain't gonna bullshit y'all. I always thought Kevin wanted them yams. You know what I'm saying? I always thought he wanted those yams. You know what I'm saying? The way he just always slobbering over Kim. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be deprived of the, the best thing going for you in the goddamn state. I'm not gonna let nobody take Kim from me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I think he want them yams. I don't know about y'all, what y'all thinking. But I really think he want them yams. You know what I'm saying? Paige is kind of hot too. 
know what I'm saying? She kind of thick. You know, I like them thick. But, you know, Paige kind of hot. Well, they got landlines. Oh shit. He doing his Magaba shit. Hang up. What's going on here? <laughs> sir, sir, please watch your steps. Stop right there. What the <laughs> hell? Please stay out of the grid. The what? <laughs> the area marked by the stakes. Step out of it, please. So what about it, doctor? Well, <laughs> at a glance, I'd say these pieces are likely contemporary. I'll bet they are. What we need to do is systematic property search to be sure. Really? Is that necessary? I'm afraid so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How, how long is this going to take? A day or two, a week at least. <laughs> Come on. You know this guy planted that stuff here. Whoa. This is the same thing with the house numbers all over again. Now that was an honest mistake. This is the law. Says who? <laughs> Says the New Mexico Cultural Properties Act. <laughs> no. You're not going along with this. Seriously? I have to make a call. Radiation's borderline. We gotta get soil samples. Do I have to ask? I'm gonna have to, uh... You know. Answer me this. If they're saying it's radioactive over there, how the hell is Acker still in that house? That was really more of an OSHA situation. The concern was for the construction crew. It turns out the radiation Damn, level fine, is girl. completely safe. We should be cleared to resume construction on Thursday. Assuming nothing else comes up. Rich, do you have anything to add? Possibly. What if there were a way to turn this around on them? What if you don't build the call center? Or not at that location, at least. Suddenly, you're holding all the cards. There's nothing to delay. The other side's the one spending money with no hope of recovering their expenses. Wait, so, what? I understand there's a viable alternative site. You make the switch, and you've won. Wait, hold up. Didn't we let the other site go? Lot 2375 is available, and our permits still apply. We'd still hit our target for getting the call center up and running. We took the liberty of running the numbers for you. The financial aid would be negligible. Raise me to run from a fight. Kevin, we're not. I'm saying. not gonna roll over and let some low life shyster bully me off my land. No offense, Kim. 
Here's what we're going to do. You're going to figure out a way to get them off my property. That call center's not moving one goddamn inch. He's a stubborn old bastard, ain't he? Or we go after Kevin Wachtel. Gets nasty, gets personal, gets dangerous. Oh, that, that's just like he like it. That's right up his fucking alley. Okay. Okay. Yes, it is. Uh, listen, I got something for you. Hear me out, because this is a good thing. Uh, Bad time. I'm, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting Bad time, Jimmy. Of reverb or something. Uh, are you in a tunnel? Or... Bad yes. time. What's that? Yes, I'm in a tunnel. So you're back to being a lawyer. Yeah, yeah totally legit. So, yeah. oh, did I mention it's a paying gig? Say again. No. Bad time, Jimmy. Mike got his own bullshit. He don't need your bullshit. What the hell? Food. I know she can cook. Tómelo con calma. No tiene por qué hacer eso. No sea terco. Uh, it's okay. I'm fine. Thank you. So cute, you know what I'm saying? This is so precious. So it's like some kind of underground Craigslist. Oh, he calls it uh people. That soda guy. People of a certain type. He's very discreet. Well, he called that soda guy back. Up under the table. Simon! Santa Claus. I thought I was going to a law office. Yep, yeah, this is a law office. I did a self-guided tour of his domicile, all seven bedrooms and four and a half baths. Hold on, you're saying you broke into his house? Giselle, um, this is probably one of those tricks of the trade things where we just focus on the what and skip over the how. I'd like to know. He has a security system with a touchy upstairs window sensor. I trip it a couple times with an airsoft, a BB gun. The alarm drives the housekeeper crazy, so I show up in coveralls, toolbox, alarm company ID, and she is more than happy to let me have the run of the place. Does that meet with your approval? You think you could get it into his downtown office? Sure. I could, but there's a better way. Yeah. I get two more guys. Guys who know how to handle themselves. Now we roll up to the subject in an unmarked van. We grab them, put them in a bag, and we take them out to the desert. 
Yeah, we're done, dude. At the end we're of done. the day, the banker's giving you everything you're after. All right? And then we're done. No, 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 no. Look, you get it. Keys to the kingdom. Okay, Guaranteed. Sergeant Slaughter. Back to the paintball field. Oh! Grown ups need to talk. Let's go. All right, that's fine. I am just providing options. All right, for this you. is the way out. Okay. Exit through the gift shop. All right. Yeah, don't touch anything, please. I will not. By the way, Negan's still alive in The Walking Dead. He's still alive, Simon. I'm gonna kill all of them. Just like I'm gonna kill you. Tucum carry situation. Mm-hmm. And the pro bono work? It's good. Something out? Listen. I'm thinking you could take a break from Mesa Verde. What? A break? Actually, a pair of mineral rights beefs just came in. They practically have your name on them. You could split your time between that and your pro bono clients. Misa Verde is my client. And they still will be. I'll just step in and take point just on a temporary basis. And, of course, this goes without saying, this won't affect any of your compensation. And that includes your bonus. You know, Misa Verde is fully informed of any potential conflicts. Kevin signed off himself. Still, I think you're going to need to take a break. First, I had to twist your arm to get you down to Duke and Carey for the eviction. Then you put the full court press on Kevin to change sides. That doesn't work, and abracadabra, your boyfriend's opposing counsel. I told you. I explained the situation to Kevin and Paige. Yeah, I know you did. And I'm sorry to say, I'm just not buying it. you saying exactly let's talk in my office you are accusing me of something go ahead and say it are you talking about malfeasance working against my client's interest what please rich tell me you know i worked my ass off to get here you know that yes i do know so tell me please tell me why i would risk everything for some squatter why I don't understand. Are you, are you trying to protect the firm from what? Kim, I'm not trying to protect the firm. I'm trying to protect you. I don't need your protection. I need to represent my client. If that's how you want it. Yo, he was right. He was dead right. Looking good, Mike, looking good. I think it's best that Senora Cortazar doesn't know about our association. I like to keep my business as far from here as possible. You look much better. I am glad. So I'm here to see what a big heart you have. Is that the idea? You throw money at these people, they bow low. As far as the people here are concerned, I am the doctor's friend, nothing more. They have no idea you finance the whole place. I prefer it that way. Damn. The anonymous benefactor. Well, that must make you feel pretty good. And is that supposed to balance the scales? Make up for everything else you do? It makes up for nothing. 
I am what I am. Damn. What is this place? Call it. Yeah. A memorial. A to what? what? I already told you what you can do with your money. You seem like a guy who can take a hint. So what are we doing? It seems to me that you are at a crossroads. You can continue as you are. Drinking, estranged from your family, brawling with street hoods. We both know how that ends. Yeah. You have another choice. Work for you is a button, man. I am in a war. I need a soldier. So I'm going to work for one drug dealer killing other drug dealers. That's your idea of a choice. You know better. You've met them. You know what they are. Meaning the Saramacas. And you are so very different from them? Yes. I am different. Why me? Because I believe that you understand. Understand what? Revenge. So this how they form Voltron. And now, now, put on, baby. And now, now, put on, baby. And now, now, put on, we here, baby. And now, now. in the pool, I'm swimming for about an hour. Attention to what these losers will say It took you that long for something I could do in a day Took you that long for something I could do in a week Took you that long for something I could do in my sleep I go so hard and homie I don't 